This is an open letter to the diaspora governments of Earth, specifically those identifying themselves as governments of human origin, creed, or species within the United Galactic Federation. Humanity? Fuck you. A list of specific complaints follows. While several governments of the diaspora were model citizens upon their original induction into the Federation, they have since grown rowdy, belligerent, combative, and antagonistic. For example, every proper sentient species realises that the Golvani are an inferior species, only give a hard labour and service to their betters. The consequences of their so-called liberation for the efforts of several human governments continue to be felt this very day. The Pozoops Corporation's profit margins have yet to recover. Those same governments remain in the Federation, by exploiting a loophole in an old law that states that members of the Federation with the most valuable economies can't leave the Federation for any means. Everyone knows this was intended to keep the Federation economically stable, not to prevent the rightful expulsion of an unfit nation. Framing the situation as, oh no, we're not trapped in here with you, you're trapped in here with us, is not helping. The Ashari League reminds the Diaspora that in the year 3301, an AI was created by a loose organisation not affiliated with any government, major or minor, of the Diaspora. The League informed the Diaspora that unregulated, ungoverned AIs were in breach of federal regulations due to them being unstable risks. The League was disappointed when several major Diaspora governments commended the AI's witty response to the League's message. Your mother didn't mind my instability is not appropriate to diplomatic discourse, even more so from Clippy the All-Knowing. The very existence of Rule 34. The Yongferian Empire of True Warriors cites their grievance regarding the incident that occurred in the year of the Varrop Shaz, 3276, by Standard Federation Reckoning. In case you have forgotten this incident, the Yon reminded a major government that space warships were prohibited from possessing laser cannons with an amplitude above a certain amount. The government agreed to conform to this, however, but developed a new laser cannon that, while individually weaker than the legal limit, used constructive interference to produce an actual beam that is three times the legal strength. The government then fixed this new cannon onto a warship titled the Barely Legal, and put it on patrol with its border that is shared with the Yong. The Yong also want to remind the diaspora of the event that occurred only a year later, when the Yong were facing the dread horde of malice. The Yon pleaded with a nearby diaspora colony for aid, which replied, Oh, sorry, we only have the old illegal warships. We'd love to help, but our hands are tied. Good luck with the Horde. Those guys sound scary. Bye. Finally, the entire Federation would like to express their exasperation with humanity. We are all aware of the War of 3391. We all know how it started and how it ended. Get over it. It was one human colony. You had who knows how many more, it ignored our demands and so we were forced to glass it. Your response and the dissolution, albeit temporary, of the diaspora to form the Terran Coalition was a gross overreaction, as was the total and complete destruction of all federal military vessels not affiliated with the Coalition. However, all of this could be forgiven if you didn't constantly bombard Galnet forum boards with stories about how awesome humanity is because of how you came together to show those filthy Xenos what happens when you mess with humanity? You won, we lost. We know. Shut up. And again, humanity. Fuck you.